back in 2009 and 10 with NSF funding. We took the university's ship, the RV Walden Smith, and did a series of quarterly cruises over a two-year period. Started up here near Miami and did a series of onshore offshore transects with the ship all the way down from Miami to, to Key West. The crewmen and the scientists on board were collecting water samples. After the crews analyzed to give us a measurement of the age of the water and the extent to which the biological activity of the corals and the other reef organisms had changed the chemistry of the water. From this data we can estimate the rates of reef building and destruction. So we found that during the spring and summer months reef building is occurring at a pretty healthy rate across the reef, but the rates were slowest in the north and healthiest and most normal to the south. During the winter, we saw a very different picture. The reefs to the south continued to photosynthesize and calcify at healthy rates, but in the middle and upper keys, the rates were actually negative, and by that we mean that they were actually dissolving and breaking down. And then if we sum the rates of growth during the spring, summer, fall, and winter, we get the annual rate. So that's quite healthy in the southernmost. It's just slightly above zero in the middle keys. And the real shocker was up the northern end, there was more dissolving during the winter than is produced during the uh, good parts of the year. So on summing over the whole year, the reefs are actually wasting away. So the long-term impacts of this are that each year, the reefs are gonna lose some of their structure fish need that structure, that's what attracts them to the reef, and studies have shown that as reefs lose the structure, fish populations go down in direct proportion to it. So the economic impact of these reefs is immense, it's measured in the billions of dollars. People come, they're here to enjoy the reef, they're buying restaurant meals, they're staying at a hotel for a week, they're paying snorkeling operations to take them out to enjoy the reef, or they're hiring guides to go recreational fishing. It's estimated that brings in $2.8 billion of economic activity to South Florida and supports almost 70,000 jobs.